Hello everyone. Uh, it's morning here, so I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> here it's um, not only the morning, but it's kind of cold lately here. So for for the people who just arrived, I am in Japan. Uh, come from Switzerland. I do a live now for uh, English speakers, so generally. That means in morning here like that for you is the night or evening. Um, and lately it was really warm here in Japan. But those three days were really cold. I, I mean, for us, <clears throat> it's cold. I know that in Europe, it's really, really cold. Like um, I come from Switzerland. So in Switzerland, uh, I think it was like 10 degrees or like even like you had I think snow one or two weeks ago. Crazy shit. So, um, yes, welcome to the show. So, we are on Twitch. Welcome. Good morning. Good uh, afternoon. Good evening. Hello, YouTube. Uh, so, we, I'm doing this live kind of to archive, um, our game and, and show the game while uh, explaining a little bit how we did stuff. Um, and mainly it's, yeah, it's a let's play with the dev. I'm the dev. I'm one of the dev, uh, Rinaldo Wirtz. So I'm, I'm the game designer, uh, one of the artists, um, and uh, also like the main lead project, you can say. Um, co-founder at Mama Pie Studio, and yeah, we we play uh, Captain Velvet Meteor, uh, the game we we created, like Captain Velvet Meteor, the Jump Plus Dimension. So Captain Velvet Meteor is our license, uh, and it's a character that uh, battle in his imagination, but he's he's a kid, uh, ten years old kid, uh, who just needed to to move in Japan uh, with his family and at 10 years old you don't really choose those kind of stuff right so he's kind of angry because he needed to cut all his uh, friends and, and what he knows about life <laughs> generally uh, and for him it's because of his father um, because that's the f his father just said you know but actually the whole family decided because yeah um, the grand father is dead uh like some some times ago maybe some months ago I, I say maybe because we didn't define those kind of stuff but like he died like months ago maybe six months something like that and so they came uh, in japan to come continue the the business and take care of the grandmother and also uh yeah show the respect for, to the grandfather so for the father itself, it's also not really a, it's a choice, but it's a hard choice. But for uh, Damia, so that's the kid, um, it's hard to understand all that. And so he's uh, imagining being a superhero, intergalactic superhero who crashed on a new planet. That's Japan, right? And um, and uh, why the jump plus dimensions? So that's the subtitle of this game because we planned also to be able to make other games and other creation with Captain Velvet Meteor only. But like the jump plus dimensions is um, the dimensions of jump plus Shonen Jump plus app, but like uh, is is from that place that uh, where the other license come, and the other licenses are eight. Uh, character for eight different manga uh, that uh, we were able to use three years ago um, and now five of them have animation and got really really known like Spy Family, uh, Monster Number 8, Hell's Paradise, Summertime Render and uh, today we will play the episode of Summertime Render so without further ado Let's transition to the game. Um, just for the sound, because we always have sound problem. 
Um, let me check. <clears throat> Here. You have sound. Everything sounds great. We are live. We are Genki. So, let's continue. So, um, what happened is that Damia entered in the bathroom of the new house. And in this bathroom, he saw a little black spot thing moving on the tiles of the bathtub. What was it? A huge freaking cockroach. Yes, because in Japan we have a lot of cockroaches and they are big, especially in summer. But the cockroach also saw Damian. Is that possible? It's not a normal cockroach. It's almost the eyes of, of uh, how was the name? Um, Venom. <laughs> but that was not on purpose, fortunately. <clears throat> Alright, that's a mission for Captain Velvet Meteor. So he's transforming always in that kind of fashion, like in a shock, emotional shock, then to, 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 to transform into his uh, imaginary avatar called Captain Velvet Meteor. And why the name is so long? A lot of people say, Captain, what's the name of the game? Captain Velvet Meteor, the jump plus damage. That's a long name. It wasn't purpose. I know it's not marketing wise, really wise, but the name of the character first was existing, right? Captain Velvet Meteor. Why is so like you can have Captain something? It's really easy, right? Captain America or Captain whatever. But like having more than that show you that it's an, it's a kid who imagined it because they always put too much stuff, you know. Like I'm Captain whatever from whatever, you know, like uh, of whatever with the power of the infinite blah blah blah. And adding too much, it's actually what is fun for me because it's like also Captain Velvet like. Velvet is really, really nice feeling in Meteor, it's like crashing, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I really like those kind of names. And so we needed also a subtitle for, for this specific game, for the collaboration with Shezak and with um, Sean and Gil. So the name is Infinite, right? But it's interesting. Anyways, Captain Velvet Meteor and Ushio Kofune from the manga um, summertime rendering uh, it's about loops and about shadows figure that take the shape of uh, humans and that's pretty like if you want to see it's quite it's, it's really interesting it's a little bit gory so maybe not for your 10 years old actually but um, probably Damia read, read the, the book uh, before knowing it was not for him Versus the shadow, that is the cockroach in a like, super saiyan mode. There it is, Captain. Our scanner have located another energy source close to the opposition. Good job, JP. That one was hard to find. Time to activate epic narration mode. Stranded on a mysterious planet, the great Captain Velvet Meteor faces impossible odds against a never-ending army. The Captain is not alone. At its side, his trusty Meteor Gun and JP, the greatest adventure robot that was ever designed. So that's him. <laughs> He's talking about himself. Hmm, okay, that's great JP. Looks like the enemy is waiting for us. The Captain's eyes then turn to the enemy to the army of unknown dark monsters blocking the way. His meteor gun pulses with rays of light. With a smile on his face, he is ready to draw, ready to face any danger with his best friend, JP, the lovable and shiny adventure boat! 
la 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 JP JP the invisible machine oh check out the invincible machine it's like the old <laughs> sorry for that I love karaoke it's like the old uh Spider-Man or like old um yeah old superhero movie in Japan you know they have this those almost nationalist music anyway JP Hi, Captain. Can we move on now, or do we have more, or do you have more lines on how great you are? <laughs> Captain Velvet Meteor, JP, we need to get moving fast. There's no time left before we're brought back. Whoa, whoa, who are you? Why do you know our names? Captain, she moves so fast, I can barely track track her. You really have to trust me on this, Captain. I'm on your side. <laughs> okay, I need to do an accent because she has an accent when she... I don't know if I will be able to do that. I know your name because that's my fourth time we meet on this beach. The fourth time? What? No time to explain everything to ya. I have a way of directly giving ya my, my memories, but only to ya. Not JP. Okay, I trust you. You're not the first weird person we met on this strange planet. Thanks. Okay, listen carefully. The time loops are, are triggered very randomly, and I don't know when the next one will happen. We need to progress as far as possible on this beach before everything restarts again. The enemy is using trees and stone to block our path, but they're just weak illusions. We already discovered you can just shoot your gun every overhead to produce enough light to erase him. Roger that! Activating, activating flash mode on the meteor gun. Stand next to each other when the captain uses it. Yeah, I know. Can we at least know your name? Of course! I'm Kofune Ushio. You can call me Ushio. Okay then. We'll follow your lead, Ushio. Yeah, no time to lose. Quick, let's get out of this beach. Okay, so um, as you understood, she does time loops, and uh, I, I mean they do, but Captain doesn't remember. So bummer. <clears throat> so actually, she attacks with her hair, and that's not us inventing new stuff. It's really like in the manga, she attacks with her hair and and can cut like really. It's really sharp. <laughs> Interesting. And so the assist combo here is this like uh, removing illusion type of flare. Here. And what is good is that it stuns the, the enemies. I really like also the power combo on this one. Oh, actually, talking about power combo, I have a little news. Let's do a little break. Um, maybe I will use it in... Um... So, um, we might be able to do an update on Steam with... Um, with the, the possibility, one, the possibility to skip the tutorial, important. Two, uh, less drop of the power orbs because we we saw in in those lives and, and other people's life that the orbs are too much and so it's really really easy uh, because you always have your power combo and that's not the case the the that's not the best thing to do and then we we, ha we will have a uh, slight little bugs to nothing huge really like not even bugs like sl some little stuff that we wanted to make better but mainly mainly that's the the two stuff that are really important for us so just to you to know um we might have uh, a little update possibly is uh, like i will confirm it normally it's okay but uh, i will confirm it so keep in touch let's continue <clears throat> So the thing about those illusion is that even if it's illusion, you cannot go through. Uh, it's a real, Ill realistic illusion, let's say. And I love her power. Bah. 
So this power combo, what is interesting is that um, normally they attack the, uh, at the same turn then uh, your character finishes turn, but like here, she's waiting the end of the movement turn of the enemy to then counterattack. And so you need to make every enemy come nearby and then kill them. It can be dangerous, but generally you really like kill them really quickly. And here we saw that uh, in one of those illusions that you can see is really, really pixeled. Pixeled? Pixeled? Pixeled, you say that? You know, it's, it's a disgusting pixel. Bush. So to show that's an illusion. If you have a big screen, it's really easy to see. If you have, if you are on Switch or like that, it's not so easy. So that's why we kind of did it really massive. But you have like those kind of dark, dark insect. Again, like dark uh, cockroach type of enemy. And uh, they stick to anything, and they have um, two normal attack. Uh, number of like life, life point and so is they are quite difficult to kill and they are they can be hidden anyway so with a smile on his face he's ready to draw ready to face any danger with his best friend JP the lovable lovable and shiny adventure boat huh? la 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 JP JP the invisible machine stop JP stop is there a problem, Captain? Wait a second. We're back at the beach. So Ushio was right. Who was right? Something or someone is making us go back in time. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, sure. Hold on. Going back in time? Ushio should be arriving any second now. Captain Velvet Meteor! JP, we need to get moving fast. Hi, Ushio. You're back. There's no time left to... Bef wait, wait. You know my name? Yep, I remember last time we met, but JP can't. I admit I'm massively confused right now. Yeah, it means it's working! If we keep pushing forward and forcing it to restart, we're retaking control little by little. Oh, and I think this loop reset just a few seconds forward compared to the previous one. Maybe every time reset is weakening whatever is causing this. Let's do this then! and get out of this beach one more time. Okay, but please be careful. This time around, I can sense things hiding behind the monsters. Okay, so mainly what will happen now is that we will start little by little. Um, we will start around here each time, but the level will change, you know? And, uh, and so the goal is to progress while um, doing a loop, but for the player it's not fun if it's a real loop, right? You, you keep it always the same stuff. So what we did here is that um, the enemy will start to adapt to your loop. And that's kind of freak freaking. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's freaking. <laughs> Only that freaks me out. Like the fact that um, you're in a loop, but actually the enemy is trying to make the loop change. I love the music, I mean, just put the music a little bit louder for me, not for you, just for me. Here. Is, is, 
almost the same level than before, just it's, it's continuing, you can go further. And one, one, once was what was a stone in a, in a tree were like illusion this time, so some stuff that you think is real at one level might be an illusion in the next. Forms. So I can't wait for this uh, update to, to be done. <clears throat> but we are in, in a tricky situation. I would like to try to explain that one day, but like our game have so much license that now are known that uh, it's kind of tricky to do any change on the game without the, the possibility, the the danger of making something wrong. I don't want to do that. Ease! Starting over and over again is getting annoying already. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh, Wait! We're suddenly back at the beach? Say what, JP? You remember what happened before? Well, yes, Captain. I remember you meet Lady Ushio here and fighting with her out of this beach, but... It's just like you say, Ushio! Now JP is also back to normal. Yep. Now the resets don't affect our memory anymore. We all bring them with us. Good to hear. We're getting further each time. Wait, Captain. Something had, has changed. More shadows are hidden in the enemy's army. You can sense them. Shadows? Yeah, it's useless to attack their upper solid body. You need to strike their shadow to kill them. Maybe the intense light, light coming from your gun will show us where they are. Okay, understood. I'll try that. Let's get moving. Here we go again. So for now they start at the same, almost same position. And we have almost the same level, but as you can see, now we have monster here and something here that was not oh, that, that that was not here before. And so this level will like this chapter is about that, and I, I I really like it. I think it's really really fun. It's good to like your own game, really. I think it's wonderful. Oh, see, you have a red one, a red one now. Did it had a red one before? Not well. <clears throat> oh no, that's bad. The three, the three orbs that I took, I just felt in the in the bushes. Yeah, the shadow if you kill his monster so he's let's say yeah his monster like not nothing no damage see like he makes the the monster the monster itself invincible but like that but if you kill him then he get damage and generally his behavior that he will go hiding so he will try to make you come to all the other monsters Really simple behavior, but it works quite well. Yeah, I cannot like, can damage it.
I will do a let's play in French one of these days when I finish with the English one. And I plan the English one is really like um, I I took how you say I took the save that I had. Um, but for the French one, I will restart from scratch. I see to unlock everything really like uh, the proper manner. With the English version, I really want to because yeah, you have more English people, right? So I don't want it to how you say like show every everything. <laughs> no, I'm showing everything. But like I'm I'm like playing quite quickly and the goal is really to explain how we made it and uh, what was difficult, what was good, what we thought when we increased these levels, but um, whatever, you know, like mechanic. We need to reach this switch to open the bridge. Don't worry about it. I can easily move through these bars in my shadow. Huh? Oh, sure. So yeah, when she does his uh, our combo, because actually, she's also a shadow like uh, like the uh, the monsters. That's in the moment. But I don't remember how. Oh yeah, you yeah, just need to go there. And then she go in the shadow. In the shadow, oh my love. You know that? Yeah. You know, I feel I don't feel old at all. I'm 38, by the way. I'm 38. I feel 28, but when I hear those music that we liked when, when we were young, um, like for the people who don't know that this in the shadow is the Rasmus, Rasmus, I think stuff like that. I love that more now than before, just because it makes me feel safe again, you know, in a world less connected. <laughs> and when I say those kind of stuff, I feel that people might say, you are you <laughs> are old, right? But really, the safety of not knowing everything, the safety of just grabbing the last song, the last, um, yeah, the, the last stuff that happened, and just say, oh, that's cool, a mini disc, wow. And now you know everything, and you have wars, and, uh, and uh, people getting, <laughs> like, a video game industry getting fucked up. And all that, and, uh, and it's sometimes too much for my mind, so... Oh, oh, in the shadows, oh my love... Okay. Wow! Who turned off the lights? Where are we, Ushio? We're not back in the beach. Okay, look like we are in between time loops. Is that good news? Well, that's one more proof what we are going is... What we are doing is working. Every time we force the enemy to reset, we gain more insight and control over the situation. So the fact that we're stuck here means that it's taking our mysterious enemy time to, and energy to reset again? I believe so, yes. Yeah, smart, JP. <laughs> no, 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 Lady Ushio. You're exaggerating. I'm just a simple, super intelligent robot. It seems that time rewinds in different ways in this world than in my world. It looks like a patchwork connecting and mixing my world with this world. Exactly! We've seen that in other areas of the planet as well. I've never explored a planet like this in my previous adventures. We're trying to repair my ship to escape this place. Everything is really weird here and it's better to leave this planet as soon as possible. Everywhere we go, we see ruins of an old civilization, but also other things that feel out of place. It's like this world is incomplete, or maybe broken, feeding on other worlds to survive. Everybody we meet here is stranded like us, missing the people and the place they love. <laughs> Cheer up, Sky! Now is not the time to give in despair uh, to give in to despair. We can win this. Our enemy here is the one controlling time, but we progress while the enemy also strains us his defense. That's why the one behind all of this is hiding shadows on our past to observe us and learn how to counter us. So this mysterious enemy you're talking about is also a shadow? Yeah, and I think it's a pretty strong one. 
It can scan a lot and print copies all over the place. Scan and print copies? Well, to put it simply, shadows can scan creatures and objects and make copies. As a result, it creates other shadows. I see, but Ushio, you do things like that, which means you're also a shadow, right? Well, more or less, but you can trust me. I'm not like the ones here, and I also cannot wait to get back to my world. <laughs> this is absolutely fun fascinating, Captain. I wonder if our database contains some information on this shadow species. You'll do that later. We first need to take care of the current situation. I'm starting to hear the sound of the beach. Feels like the loop is restarting. Hey, hey, Captain. Mm. Okay, let's go. Mm. Back to the beach. Now they don't discuss anything. And as you see, shortcut. Because when we opened the bridge there, at that time it opened this one, you know, like Souls-like game. We had a shortcut. I like them. I don't like them as a player. I like them as a player because they force you to um, change position and take space differently. Yeah, those bubbles. Too much bubbles. Too much bubbles. I don't remember as I said last time like I play also Persephone in uh, our first game in French this time and it's a lot of level design I don't remember Captain is easier because like I it's not so long that we did it but uh, Persephone is quite long ago and maybe four years four or five years and so a lot of level that I don't remember and that's kind of fun because I, I have the freshness of a, of a new player when it comes to this conversation, almost not, not 100%. I still don't uh, remember stuff, but like those two, those two shadows, I didn't remember they were hidden, hidden here, and I don't even know if we have more than two here. And I need to defeat all the enemies. That means I need to find all the shadows too. I cannot kill, um, I didn't remember also if you can just like try to attack the illusion normally, but actually no, the relief. But the enemies does, the enemies seems to, oh, a door, a door is hidden, a door is hidden behind, behind uh, this illusion. Sayonara. Sayonara. Je passerai quoi qu'il en coûte, révéler des illusions. Ah, it's in French, I'm sorry. Uh, I will go through anyways, reveal 100 illusions. So already 100 illusions revealed in this gameplay. And because illusions are only in this uh, chapter, that means... That means a lot. Hundred is really good, actually. Oi, 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 oi! Don't kill me, because that. Would... Yeah, I want to do a video in Japanese as well. Oh no, that was a. Oh, that was a shadow. 
this red one with a shadow. No! I'm dead! Or not? Maybe not. Probably not. The shadow will flee. Did it? Did it. Yes! So de gozaimasu! Yeah, because I, I speak Japanese fluently, but uh, I'm not sure I can read uh, chat room. But like now I, I discovered that generally you guys watch the video in YouTube more than in Twitch, uh, on YouTube more than on Twitch. And so I guess I feel now comfortable to do a, a, sweet, a, a stream in Japanese because I will not need to read Japanese, uh, we say, uh, comments indirect you know like i can and take my time to answer if it's in, on youtube so anyways and here we go again again captain the more we get closer the more i'm sure of it there there's an energy crystal nearby most likely behind these huge walls mm -hmm. mm, maybe that's the reason why lucio anything in your mind these energy sewers you're out looking for to repair your ship come from an unknown alien technology, right? Yeah, we've never seen anything like that before. Then, do you think this energy crystal you're talking about could be affecting our enemy? Oh, well, I'm not sure, but I guess it's possible. So that's why our enemy is able to rewind time. It's using the crystal. Or it might be under its influence. We've seen strange things happen around this energy crystal. Remember, until now, like a little resume. First energy crystal, the dog, like the kaiju, was creating a lot of eggs uh, around his uh, heat energy and uh, was kind of like really in rage. Then we had the... Um, uh, which one? Chrome. The energy crystal were inside this uh, insane robot giving it a lot of energy to to break everything then we had um we had uh, health paradise with gabi maru where this stone head sculpture like type like really huge sculpture was actually alive with plants mixing with plants and and conscious trying to stop you and then what did we do? Oh, princess, we had this kind of gooey <laughs> natto monster who was alive also because of the crystal. So the crystal, energy crystal, does a lot of strange stuff. <clears throat> the energy crystal must allow its brain to copy and stock a huge amount of that data. But maybe because it's using its power to forcefully, its prints are not perfect. They are unstable and easy to erase. So the enemy is now trying to learn how to use this huge shadow power that came with the energy crystal. Yeah, I'm sure it came to this planet just like I did. We have to stop it and get that energy crystal. For flush sake. I don't want to say bad words, but like, I really enjoy saying bad words. So sorry if sometimes I say a mod of flicker or something like that. I think for flood's sake, this is quite safe, right? Let me drink a little bit of coffee. So, so yeah, the, the level is slightly different each time and slightly more difficult each time. But, you know, our comments. Our comments. I wonder if it's possible to finish the game. Boss aside, because some boss needs the power combo. Boss aside, if it's possible to finish the game without any power combo. You don't have the grid anymore here. The level is changing. Here you have a stone already. 
the he like the hidden hidden door is now um some bars so that means only you should can, can go there and i'm quite sure i'm not sure but i think that's in this level Wait, first kill this one you can do really annoy oh yeah i was shot Okay, 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 and I'm trapped now. No, 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 no good, no good, no good. Mayday, mayday. I cannot be alone against this big, big, big monster. Lucio, too quickly, come on. We need your power combo. trying to do like one episode oh no but it's not one hour we are streaming because it's 30 minutes actually because it was one hour of um waiting no, I, don't have to. I think in total the gameplay will be something like one hour generally i feel each episode is something like one hour of play End, so I don't need to kill everyone. That's good to know. But generally, you still do. like even if this is not the, like the goal is not to kill everyone, we finish by trying to kill. Everyone. Yeah, this power combo is really really unique. I mean, the fact to be able to wait that everyone comes to you. So powerful. And here we are, the end of this level. But I think we start really, see, now we start on the bridge. So each time you kind of have maybe two tiles of difference. And so the level gets bigger. But also we did some shortcuts like for the you see like you have now the this bridge and so you have something here that we will reveal that will help us for the next level that was our mentality but now i really do need to do the whole thing again see doors now you have doors here those doors will help us for the in the next level to be able to go directly through those doors and not need to do the whole circle. I loved doing this um, the actually this chapter because I, I I wanted to say this level, but actually it's one level that that is always um, evolving and it was really difficult, but it was really interesting because like. You cannot just copy paste your, your level. You need to have a, a main structure that is similar, but also it evolves with the testing. So each time you change one level, you need to change the whole thing. So I was not able to do um, 
how you say like uh, flesh out of background and stuff I had just like the I seen the water and the basic walls uh, like really not even like not not how we say no decoration let's say and uh, and then testing little by little each oh no that's a shadow each level and uh, once every level of the whole chapter was good enough then only at that point I fleshed out the whole level so I was like okay so the whole level is like that you have the big walls here that's inside that's outside you have this little uh, bunker like I don't know how to say that like this little area here on the right, on the right. and and yeah it was a, a lot of work but it was also like really it feels good once you have the whole thing because you can think it's only one level but actually it's 10 different levels with the same visual um almost the same level. and like being able to remember okay it now you have this big jumper and uh, we call that big jumper because we have jumpers we have this big jumper here. Will he, will he be there next uh, next time? And so, and so also, as you see, you have here artillery stuff. So now that I will go there, they will shoot at me. You didn't have that before. And uh, yeah, that's the kind of feeling I wanted to to make. It's like the levels are evolving. Ushio Kofune, please do something. So those explosions are coming from the quite I'm not I'm not a good situation. I need to get out of there. And also you don't have like the, the hidden wall anymore. Jumper 2? That means we have... Ah oh yeah, you have another one there. Mm. Come on everybody! Probably my favorite. Yeah, no, I think it's my favorite. I'm trying to see. Well, like, also slime. No, but the slime. I like the, the assist combo of slime. But I think it's the most original. The more different. I like the effect of Ghost Girl one. We didn't play this one. souls <laughs> death and uh, I love to do the effect of the big steel cutting through everything oh, sorry. <coughs> it's morning still morning oh shit all <laughs> those out here are in the same place come on come on Jumper is coming, so for him, I need to prepare a power combo that can kill also that. Yeah, that's, that's good. 
Come on, big guy. Oh no! Look, he's invincible. Why? Because you have... Actually, that's not a big jumper. I forgot about that. It's a shadow. The shadow is easier to kill, so... Actually, that's good for me. Jumpers. And the second one was not a big jumper. It was a shadow disguised in the skin of a big jumper. Not fair. Here we are. Open the door. And we needed to open it anyways because we needed to open the last door as well. So we opened a shortcut. And now, normally, when we come back... We're stuck again in between time, time loops. This sucks. It doesn't feel like we're really making a lot of progress. It's like there's simply no end to this. We're just redoing the same thing over and over again. Captain, I get it. You feel that you have, you have no control over the situation. That you're just at the mercy of someone else. But you can trust me, we're making progress. We'll get out of, out of this together. You're right. I don't know what we could have done without you, Ishio. Exactly! Without you, I predict things would have turned very badly. Haha, <laughs> thanks. You know, usually I'm much more impulsive. When I was little, I was sometimes bullied because I, I, I have my father's blue eyes. My father is French, and that's why my hair and eyes are different from everyone everyone else. Oh, that's like me! My parents are kinda, kinda the same. So, just, you know, little break. It's a manga that uh, takes place in Japan, uh, the summertime render. And so, Ushio Kofune, even if the name is 100% Japanese, uh, she's uh, what we call here half. That means she's a... Uh, uh, mixed uh, with French and, and Japan and that was kind of by like we cho we chose Damia as a French uh, kid to not choose a Swiss kid because like it doesn't like uh, we wanted a French language yeah. and near our our uh, culture to be able to really like have more depth um, with his story because if we don't know the culture we might do misrepresentation and stuff like that but Ushio Kofune, when we chose her, we didn't knew that. And then we discover in the in the manga by reading it that at one point she said that, or I don't remember how exactly, but her father is French. And I was like, oh, cool, like Damia, you know, like exactly the same. And so we put that here. It's quite quite interesting. Like little little talk about like how it can be hard for someone that is not hundred percent Japan. Like my my kids are. Uh, if, if you guys look at them, especially my son, he has black hair, uh, a bit bright, uh, bright, bright uh, eyes, uh, like you would say, no, 100% Asian, 100% Japanese. But here, and for me as well, like now I, I see the difference. No, they, you see that they are mixed, like, like uh, you know? Like you can see me, like you cannot say I'm, I'm from Switzerland, blonde hair and, and whatever, you know. I mix too in something, you know, and some people would say, ah, you have a little bit of Latin America stuff, right? Or like Brazilian, whatever. So you can, you can, they can see that. But we, we like, generally the people don't. But here, like, is Ushio Kofune. She's blonde with blue eyes. So she took a lot from from her father but we wanted to talk a little bit about that because like the bullying the the fact to always say half instead of saying just japanese you know you're born in japan 
you are mostly Japanese and uh, they are still putting your part in a, in a category that is not Japanese. You are half. You are, you are half of a Japanese. You are, you are not even fully a person. <laughs> and, and for me, it's like a little bit... It's shocking. It's un like it's ignorance so much that um, now I ac accept that, but I don't like it, you know. I accept it as a fact, as a truth, but it's not. I, I'm not happy with that. That fact that uh, still and probably for many years, any person that will not have, even if you have the passport, Japanese passport, and you are born here and you did school here, if you don't have the 100% face of a Japanese, then you are not Japanese. And that's really weird because he's still with DNA more than with identity of a country, right? So we, we could talk about that a lot, um, if, uh, yeah, if you want, but like, we wanted to put that a little bit, just, you know, a drop here, because it's important, yeah. <clears throat> I remember other kids sometimes making fun of me. I was in a place called Hitogashima, where foreigners seems to be a rarity. But I didn't want to lose to the bullies. If someone said something to me, I would punch them in the stomach. Despite all these troubles, you're so strong, Ushio. But you know, <laughs> you know, our current situation cannot be solved by just punching and shooting. It means you need to take some time to stop and think. Someone I know told me that. This person must be a precious ally to have in battle. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, Yoshio. You've also people. You've also people you need to go back to. I forgot that, and I just th thought about myself. No worries. I go back home and see him again. I told ya. Just trust me. We can win this. Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. We'll force this shadow to reset again and again until he got no energy left. Also, if someone asks, don't ask. Don't ask. But if someone asks, why Ushio is always in swimwear? Don't ask, I don't know. But in the manga, you have a reason. And the reason is because she copied the person she copied when this person was in swimwear. Therefore, she cannot put on other clothes on. Strange. No, really, like, welcome to Japan. <clears throat> oh, not only Japan. Welcome to Stellar Blade. Captain, I detect another bomb falling from space to your position. This one will explode in 60 turns. Run! But I think it's kind of fun. Like, I mean, we accept. We we are, as a, as a reader, viewer, we accept the fact that... Yeah. I guess like that that uh, Japanese um, entertainment often sexualized the characters or cutieized the character and uh, when the when a limit is when it's too not too much for example she's not a, a woman with big boobs and all that so it's kind of okay you know like he feels like in the story okay first it's like uh, why and then like okay yeah I understand you have a reason seems seems okay for me but uh, and so we chose also manga that that um, was like that I remember one of the manga that we thought about and it was a little bit too much you know like I don't remember the name of the manga but like yeah the guy was a slave of succubus that were really sexy and all that and we were like that's maybe too much but the Ushio thing also the story is really really nice and uh, and um, and smart and so the fact that the character is in swimwear also is on a little island where everybody is always like uh, fishing and uh, I don't remember exactly you have also some tourists and stuff and uh, and the fact that she's copied um, in swimwear makes it like an excuse, let's say. But I always think like, yeah, but you, you still can put some clothes on if you want, you know. 
I don't remember if she, if she does actually sometimes. It's possible, I don't remember. Exactly. Anyways. Let's continue. So we, we are progressing now now see like the okay i, I talked that's why I, I was not concentrated you have this bomb falling so now i have uh, like a limited number of turn to go uh, to the end but also we don't need to do all this reset anymore now we just get there have those we still have some of the previous uh, artillery but now we have a new area, so we are entering, like here it's like we were entering inside the, those big walls. Bunker type. Oh! Wow! No, 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 no! Wait, is it the first time I will die from a... Uh, it's possible. I don't think I can do it in three turns. Two turns. Now that's over. Because I need to find the... Ah! Uh, I need to find the... Uh, Okay, first death with an atomic bomb coming from space. Cannot go there. Maybe that was here. Okay, for for the for the next turn, let's see if it was there. Yes, it was there. Sli sli fla flish. Even in German, I don't need to. No. Okay, it's good. Like that you can see how you die when you have a bomb and you don't do the proper work. Captain, I did take another bomb falling from space to your position. This one will explode in 16 turns. Run! Yeah, I kind of like, I know what I did wrong. I just tried to kill all the, the monsters down down right here when actually I don't probably don't need I just need to try to run out of that situation as quick as possible did I lose so much turn just before? Like I, 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 I had only three turns left there. I think I talked too much and I just didn't concentrate at all. Wasn't concentrate, wasn't focus. So please don't focus. Please focus. I'm not, I'm not saying a bad word here. The red one is following me, I don't like it. I would like to close the door once I'm here. 
Don't come! So it was here. And I will see if I have time then to do something else. Maybe you have a, a chest here or something. Yeah, the problem is like I, I cannot kill this illusion with normal attacks. So it's, it's not there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, sorry. Someone just. I think I have the post office here. So just wait a second. I'm sorry. I come. guys receive some package let's continue so yeah like those those artillery guys are hidden behind and actually killing them doesn't give me anything good or bad so I don't really care just want to see all the hidden stuff okay no maybe not <laughs> Not a good idea. Let's run. Captain, this is it. I think the energy crystal is within our reach this time. Yeah, finally. If we manage to get the crystal out, out of here, the reset will stop and time will slow. Uh, time should flow normally again. Then we can catch who's behind all this. Our mysterious enemy is making a last stand, detecting a high number of enemies on your path. Ushio, let's move carefully and take out this hidden shadow one by one. Hidden shadows one by one. So here is like he... I, as you see, like that's here again, but it's not like it's grayed out. It doesn't work anymore. But you have like plenty of monsters and all that, so the shadow felt that we are near him, her, it, they, whatever, uh, the cockroach and he's doing like sending the whole army to us. We have time this time, so I'm still straight out, stressed out by the, 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 the folding bomb before. Here we have time. So let's take it. Also, that's the last level. It was quick actually. It's not the boss though. It's the last level. XP for every monster I kill, man, I will be level 100. And then you have the question, why you didn't do the XP stuff? Because that's not how the game is done. 
was focused on each character and how to use them in 10 levels. If we had only two characters, probably we would do a more like level type. With eight le character and not 100 hours game, you know, if it's, it's not an RPG, RPG per se, it's a tactical game. Um, yeah, we would have done that, but also it changed a lot, the, the, the gameplay. The more complex the gameplay is, the more difficult it is to balance, to, to make it fun, actually, because like, then instead of, of having the main mechanic giving everything, like a toy, you know, you have a toy, that, that, and you can do that with that, and that's it, you know. But with uh, with level system and all that, and those, uh, I don't know, to be able to have uh, equipment and all those stuff that you have in your RPGs, make that the gameplay is based around this RPG uh, style, and so it's all about grinding and killing monsters. I don't say that here it's not about killing monsters, but here you kill monsters just uh, to clean the path and then be able to go further. When in a RPG you keep monsters to, to update, to work, you, you are working to make money. But instead of money is, uh, is uh, eight, uh, XP, and instead of working you are playing, but actually you are kind of working because you use your time in a rep re repetitive way to gain resource. And when you have really good RPG, they try to make you feel that you are not working. And that's good. It's summer, really. Like, I, I, I have in mind now a game that each time I, I start it again, even now by talking about it, I'm like, ah, I would like to do this game, to continue it again. But each time I feel working, and each time I'm like, ah, not for me, stop it. And that is Xenoblade Chronicle. I love this game, and I hate this game. I love it because it had a lot of nice sto I like the stories, I like the, the huge giant world, strange, like the visual is beautiful, all that. But I hate the fact that you need to, to do always, always, always the same. Um, it's tiring sometimes. So you have a shadow here. I think like the goal is to find the how I we don't know how many shadows but you have a number of shadows that are hidden here. So probably the only way to uh, reveal them all is to kill everything. And it's not a work. That's a work. That's like okay, this little challenge can be a little bit of work. Because you don't need to do it. But if you do it it's kind of working because you need you need to kill everything. You know? And we don't ask you to do that normally. For this level. Only, only to find the shadow. But I guess that's the one. Hello, shadowy figure. What are you doing? Oh, you cute. Oh, you cute. Ooh. And now you're dead. Dead like a cockroach. Let's do the sound you make. Five. Okay, five on five. That's five shadows. How do I get up? No, really? See? It's fun. It's fun. Okay. Um. Is this what? Is is this what you have been looking for? Yeah, with this we should be one step closer to leaving this awful planet. It's a bit scary, Captain. Let's take it away. Okay, JP. We got the energy source. I initiated the transfer to the Velvet Wonder now. Aye aye, Captain! We should be safe now. The shadow behind all this. I can feel it now. It's very close. Without the crystal it won't run away so easily now. We'll catch it. Yeah. Follow me, Captain. Let's finish this. So you have finally show yourself. We got Yana. You've been toying with us for far too long. 
Captain, this is a wild shadow, just like I thought. It comes from my world. A wild shadow? They have okay. They have all the time they want to talk when you have a monster waiting in front of you. Okay? That's anime style. We copied the anime style. Narrative. They have time they are like just waiting. Oh, this guy in front, yeah. Oh, it's a wild shadow, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is doing? Why is just waiting that we finish our discussion? Then we he will start to attack. A wild shadow? If a shadow has lived for too long, it deteriorates over time and becomes feral. It attacks any animals or living thing when they are nearby. Nearby. Then we need to stop it before it causes more problems. Captain, this shadow has been influenced by the energy crystal. We should stay on our guard. And also, don't forget that shadows can be very fast. Our, we have you on our side, Yushio. We can win. Let's go! Activating Metal Gun! Okay. Did you see that, Captain? It's so fast I couldn't track it. It must be hidden in one of these rocks. Coward! Come on, just fight. Why hiding? Then we can win it. Ah, that was easy. There you are. Look like the enemy is stunned. Quick, let's attack it before it recovers. Recovers. Recover. Because because he needs to recover. And I will just do a little blow and a little hit on his sexy uh, no. Stop. Maybe you have young people watching. Okay, now it's more complex. So He's hidden somewhere, but also if I don't kill those, they will kill me. Especially the red one I, so, and, the, and the artillery, so I will kill those one first, then try to focus on the red one and the artillery. Ooh, that's a lot of violet colors. Oh shit. Okay, um, I can have this one. Feel that I'm safe here. Yep. Not them. <laughs> okay, that's the attack of the boss. But if you saw it well, you saw from where it started, right? You had this like, like wave. Therefore, I would bet that he's behind this little bush here. Just having a, a little pee. And I will use that to kill all the other ones like that. Yes. So you, so ya. Yeah. Cha. Yeah. I didn't saw where he was going, but like here the difficulty, generally the difficulty of the boss are not really the boss themselves. Um, that's also a design type, like how we design stuff. It's more than like how the complexity of the movement and, and, uh, and the patterns versus all the monsters on the, on the plane. So generally the boss actually are more the monsters that are spawned in the specific environment in the level and the boss attacks right like the laser for the, for the, the dog the laser takes a lot of places that was easy for this one i think he's here and so i need to kill him i can do the same because if i kill him now I That was so cool. Sometimes it's really difficult, but again, after the update, it will not be as easy as, easy as that because you will have less power combos. It is over. It's really over. Yep, we did it, Captain. Oh yeah! Mission complete! <laughs> That's a relief. I don't think I could have continued fighting for much longer. Well, you've been time traveling a lot. That's perfectly normal, Captain. Right, catching that tricky shadow wasn't easy. Thank you, Oshio. You've been amazingly helpful. helpful. Feel free to take some rest in the Velvet Wonder. I've already prepared some hot tea. Yeah, you're more than welcome to join us. Thanks, let's find a way to leave this planet together. To the Velvet Wonder, then.
attraper le kefir. Yep, and that's something really difficult to do, what he just did. But he took a note and let the cockroach free. He's not flying, he's kind of jumping, but actually, okay, I have a story about cockroach. No, I will do that. Yeah, yeah, I have a story about, about cockroach, but let's finish first that, and then I will talk about my cockroach story. Here you go, little shadow. It wasn't easy to catch you, but I finally got you. I don't want you scaring Aya. Aya is the little sister. She's not here in the house, but she's the little sister of this kid. I'm not sure she would like meeting you where she's taking a bath. Get out of here and be free. Okay, mission complete. Brush his teeth. Okay, so that was the, the goal of, of Damien was to brush his teeth here. But then he saw a monster shadow, little freaky shadow here. Okay, so the story about the cockroach, because that's kind of interesting. And then I, I will finish um, by showing you a little tease of the next uh, character. But like, so I was living uh, in Tokyo in a little, uh, we, we call that uh, Rokujo. So it's like six tatami size. It's something like 20 meter uh, squared. Some A little bit less maybe. With uh, everything inside. And so it was not big. But I had a little, uh, not garden, but kind of, uh, I was on the first floor. Uh, and so we say first floor for the, for the one that is like on the ground, right? So I was on the ground floor. And, um, and I had a, really small garden it was not a garden it was like a, maybe 30 percent of the size of my room was outside you had a a, a garden of the size of 30 percent of my so it, it, for me alone and all that it was cozy but uh, because it was small and on the ground side you had you had cockroach coming sometimes in the summer especially uh, on the bathroom bathroom because you have the tubes and they can come out of that and so, yeah, it can be impressive. And so I had that sometime, but really, really where, rarely. But the first time I tried to hunt, so it's kind of the story here. I, I tried to hunt him and I don't want it to kill them. I, I, I hate killing. Uh, I think the only animal, no, the only insect I'm willing to kill. And even here, I feel a little bit bad, but uh, it's the it's the mosquitoes. Like um, those, those, those one doesn't like humanity really, because they could take my blood. I, I don't care. As long as they don't like to eat so much itching and how, so much itching and so much like pain. I, I think it's in purpose, you know, they, they could, do, like nature could have done it differently. Like you can get high or something. It could be fun, you know, but like, no, you get hitched. Anyways, I don't like to kill animals. I don't like to kill, um, Insects, neither. Even flee, you know. Fly. Um, even fly. So, the thing is, like, I wanted to 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 put it outside, outside, like Captain, like Damia here. And I started running after, like, not running, trying to find solution to corner it, you know, like, uh, find a way to to trap it and all that. And he he was he or she or whatever. <laughs> Again, it's an insect, right? It was. Uh, fleeing and all that and at one point after I don't know how many minutes I was able to corner it really in a corner of the of the of the, of the room and with a, a book or notebook that was like square so he he was like in this little cage right but the up it was not closed up and suddenly this mother flicker jumped and almost flied he flied actually kind of you know like bzz, outside of that and i was like you are cheating <laughs> you know like he was like i didn't knew that they were able to fly so like the, the he was running all the time and everything and finally i had it and this one just like okay now i i can use my you know it's like in in super I can dragon ball and stuff like that. They are fighting, fighting, fighting for hours. And then suddenly it's like, okay, now I can really uh, put all my energy because I was just like saving it until now. 
I didn't need to transform in Super Saiyan and he can do crazy stuff. And that was exactly that feeling for me. It was like, you were all the time keep, like keeping your energy and not showing me that from the start you could fly and just like fly away, right? And finally, I, I don't remember how, but I was able, no, maybe not. Even like maybe that was my, my share, share house, share mate for some time. It's possible. I don't remember exactly how it finished, but, and so that's why I say Damian was pretty, pretty, pretty good at that because he was able to just to peacefully say, oh, go out, my little birdie. Uh, yeah. Cockroach, they are big here. They are quite, quite huge. Anyways, let's see then. Um, let's tease the next episode and then we will finish this um, this episode. So we did, uh, we did. Here it was Kaiju, the dog outside, right? Here it was Hell's Paradise, the the room of the deceased people, <laughs> with with the uh, incense and the the image of the grandpa and gran grandma. Here it was the kitchen. Actually, we can just go there and see. It's better. So here, dog, dogzilla, all that. Cool. Here, ah, oh, also one thing that we change for the we want to change for the next update if we have this next update is the loading uh, timing between rooms inside the, the house because some loading are uh, make sense when you go out of the ra house or like that because you need to, to load stuff. But in those little room, we, we show them that. So so here it was the grandpa, Hell's Paradise, uh, burning stuff. Then we had here, so here it was what we did. Lucio and uh, the shadows and the time loop. Then we have the kitchen. Here with uh, Natox, Nato, the, the morning um breakfast the breakfast uh here is just toilets uh we have here we didn't go there yet and we had i just show everything like that you see what's remaining for us we got there here we had uh the big machine with uh chrome and the, f the possibility to push blocks here is the it's just living room here is the ayas room here is the parents room that's the father office we cannot go there that's uh, japanese toilets and so we have two left one is the i think i, I know which one i will choose then we will go outside here And uh, you have this grandmother, strange grandmother, outside in the street. Uh, she's actually the neighbor here. And actually, again, our neighbor just in front. I did this game before to, to move here where we are, but she's kind of similar. And she's always like, that's kind of creepy, actually. Each time we go out and she hear our, our kids, she open the windows or the door to see them and talk with them or with us but it's like stalking almost because each time she heard a little sound she's opening saying hmm, what's happening and i'm so pissed at that it's like oh no don't 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 we don't want to do like it's, she's kind but like you know it's kind of creepy when each time you each time you are just going outside of your home sometimes someone is saying hey hello because she's so bored anyways this episode is kind of fun and uh it's about slime and to trigger it we will need to go to the um, to the spaceship and so i will not trigger it this time but um please come back for the next live or uh, follow the next um episode on on youtube in on Twitch and uh, yeah and you will I will put like here the um, the list for uh, for the the other uh, let's play we did from the f from the first episode and uh, please subscribe 
follow us, come on Discord, uh, it's a community, and uh, yeah, so we, it's not monet monetized, so if you like the video, put a thumbs up, but it, we, we, what we really need is uh, you coming, asking questions, uh, talk with us, come on Discord, that's the most important for us now. And, and uh, like that, we can have this community of people that are interested in video games, creating video games in our games. And in all the stuff, we, we like to talk about uh, a lot of stuff uh, in Japan as well, because I live in Japan, as you know. And, uh, and that's it.